Hey guys, Steve from BNS Customs here. Today we're going to be putting a new car stereo into a Pontiac Ram Air Grand Am. So we have a 2005 Pontiac Grand Am Ram Air. And uh, the driver here would like a new stereo in it, one with Bluetooth and uh, some more wattage going through the speaker. So we're going to show you how to take off this dash here, the front panel trim piece, and get the stereo out, and then how to wire up the new stereo. And we'll get that installed. Here we go. Okay, so to get started with this project, we have a brand new uh, Sony car stereo. The wiring harness for it, antenna adapter, and then the actual stereo install kit to help mount it to the to trim the dash in there. So we're gonna get this all unboxed, take a look at it, and then we're gonna rip off that stereo in the car. All right, so here's the radio inside the dash here, and there's this big trim piece all around it. So we're gonna start just pulling from the back of it. it just starts to pop off a little bit. I already tried it a little bit here. This will come off too in the process, and then from there we'll see uh, what we're looking at after that. Well, here we go. Is that? There we go. Okay, so we got a connector on top of the trim here. There it goes. But right next to that one was another clip. Uh, I just had to pull up the tab on the connector and then pull it back on it. And it came right out. And now we're going to look at doing the cigarette lighter down here. So to get the cigarette lighter part out, there was a tab on the bottom. We had to push it in. So from the bottom, you push up and then pull out. That releases that, and then we're able to take the whole trim piece out of the car. Okay, so we got three seven millimeter bolts that we're gonna take out to get the stereo out here, and then we'll be able to get behind it, take the wiring harness out, and the antenna. Okay, so we've removed the three bolts, and pull the stereo forward. There's the two connectors we removed. In the back here, here's the antenna adapter. Pull that out. And then we're gonna remove these clips here. They're always fun. There it goes. After some investigation here, we figured out how to get the bottom one out. And you just gotta pry the tab forward. And then just pull it out. So I had to get the Dremel out to do this part here. Um, to mount this, these tabs here need to go into these slots, but the, the tabs were a little too fat. So I took a, a Dremel here on a high speed and just took a, just a little bit off, shaved a little bit off, and now it uh, it's going right into place. It's looking really good. Okay, so the next part here is to add in the tray. You want the angled bevel part here to be on top. And these are going to go into the slots down here on the bottom. We did have to trim the post on the other side of this install kit as well with the Dremel. Both sides didn't need it. As you can see now, it's all fitting nice. So there's that. And now we're just going to take some screws here and uh, drive them in. All right, so the first thing we had to do was remove the, the front bezel here to the new radio. It just unclips from the back. Take that off. And now we're going to go ahead and slide it in. As you see. It lines up with the holes here. Now nothing in the mounting kit really fit these holes that well, but I had some other screws laying around and uh, these seem to fit the job. So I'm going to go ahead and screw two or four of these in and uh, I'll come back to that. Alright, so here's the wiring harness that she bought and here's the one that came with the radio. Now all we got to do now is just connect all the colors to the colors. They're out, there's one for one for each one you see. So we're just going to use some butt splices and tie these all together. This also came with a uh, a door key chimer just plugs in here on the end. I think we'll just be able to plug that in, put it in behind the radio here inside the dash. So I'm going to go ahead now and make these connections and uh, we'll come back to it. So here we go. Hopefully you have something looking like this. Um, we did have an extra orange wire left over from this adapter here going to the uh, key chime. So it's just not used. It's okay. We're now going to plug it in and see, test everything out, see if we've got power and radio is working. Here we go. Okay, so as you see, we able to get everything back in place here. We're now going to use the factory bolts and just snug it in. Okay, so we got the trim piece lined up here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cigarette lighter right in there. Then the clips removed on top. And then one more, which I'm doing is blind. Let's see if we get it. 
Yep. I can just click them. And now we just put it back. Wow, looks pretty good. This just pushes back out. My off with the key. Flash is still working. <laughs> Another successful job. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the videos and uh, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it.